number 51. So yes, uh, a blessing in disguise. So this is some something that you would have when it seems like your world's crashing down on you. Um, everything's just going wrong. And then it turns around a few months later and everything is gone the way it's supposed to. So like if you had a girlfriend or or something like that, and she left you and you are, are a boyfriend and you feel just terrible, like why, why, why God? Um, and then turn around and you find your soulmate, the next one. So it could be a blessing in disguise that something happens. And usually it does turn out that way. Um, so yeah, when something you think is going wrong actually turns out to be a good thing. That is a blessing in disguise. Go ahead. Oh, yes, yes. Good explanation. Yeah. Yes, and examples. So a blessing in disguise, yes, this is when something that, a situation that seems bad or unlucky at first, but it results in something positive at a later date. So let's say you get fired from your job. Obviously, that seems bad, maybe even unlucky. But uh, later on, you get a job 10 times better. It pays better. You have a better, a better boss, a better co-workers. The location is better. Everything about this job is better. You can say getting fired was a blessing in disguise. My new job is so much better. Yes. yes. Next. So, yes, that's good job. Yeah, number 52. <laughs> A dime a dozen, something that you can get a bunch of um, for cheap, you know, something that, like when I was younger, we used to go play in the mud and make mud trucks. So we would jack them up and we would put mud tires under there so we can go play in the mud. I don't know if you guys do that there, probably not. Um, because you guys don't really have trucks. Mm -hmm. Um, no, no, yeah, we, yeah, we would build these trucks to where they were like you can't barely climb into them, mm -hmm. like monster trucks. I'm sure you guys have seen monster trucks, like the Grave Digger. It wouldn't be that big, but anyways, so we would say um, the front ends of a Chevy pickup were a dime a dozen because you could pick them up anywhere, um, or. Uh, things that are cheap, you can and you could find anywhere. You would say those are dime a dozen. Something you um, that are really popular, so they're cheap. They're dime a dozen. So yes, go ahead, so. Oh yes, good. Yes, a dime a dozen. This is when something uh, that is common and not special. That uh, that example here: tech startups in Silicon Valley is a dime a dozen. They are very common everywhere and they not very special. Everyone's a tech startup in Silicon Valley. A dime a dozen. Next. Daddy. Yeah, what does your guys' dimes look like? Do you have a dime? A dime is 10 cents here. Yes. Uh, let me see if I have here. Okay, I'll start on this one. So number 53. Um, oh, I yes, don't have to beat a later. So yeah, to beat around the bush. Uh, so you don't have a dime? No, but I can uh, figure out to, uh, to show you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, because we only but have like... When I have... <laughs> I think five or six coins in our, yeah, uh, the, our money, and then the rest is paper. Uh-huh. 
Okay, so we have the penny, the nickel, the dime, the quarter, uh, the 50 cent piece. Well, we don't actually don't do 50 cent pieces no more. That actually stopped a while ago, but we still have them in, cir in cycle. Uh, and then we have the, the dollar, the silver dollar, uh, which is now called, uh, it's like a Susan B. Anthony. It's not the silver dollar no more. It was back in the day, the silver dollar was that big, the 50 cent piece was that big, and then you got your quarter. But the Susan B. Anthony, it's smaller than the dollar, uh, the silver dollar. It's more like actually the size of a quarter. Oh, I have a quarter here. Oh, yes. So, yeah, do you guys got the a nickel, a dime, a penny, and a quarter? Yes. And what else do you got? You got a lot more change than we do. Exactly the same. One cent. Fifty also. That's fifty cents. Oh, yes. yes. The same size as the quarter. Uh huh. And I have here one. What? That's a dollar. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. And so you just don't, uh, and then you have a nickel, a dime, and a penny. Mm hmm Okay. So you yes. have the same. You got. This. Mm -hmm. Has it? Yeah, you know, it's the same. Oh, good. Okay. But you can have different names. Yeah. So just when I was down here, I remember seeing a whole lot of different colored coins. Um. So it seemed like you had a lot more kinds of change than we did. And then for yeah. like dollar bills we have the one dollar the two dollar bill and then we have a five a ten a twenty and a one hundred and that's it um the government i heard they made five hundred or a thousand dollar bills but just for the government but i don't know if that's true or not uh, probably a long time ago before all your money's electronic but yeah oh yes i don't like a lot one dollar three Start there, but I like uh, five dollars. Yes, I oh, think yeah. there are a lot of interesting things, but a lot of people like one dollar. Start there, yes. The and uh, yes, dollar. Uh, what is the name? The dollar store. The dollar store, yes. And uh, but there are a lot of useful things also. Yeah, they, they a lot of stuff in there that um is useful. Um, there is stuff in there that's more than a dollar, but now I think they had to raise it up to, uh, it's not the dollar store anymore. I don't know because everything's more than a dollar now. Mm. Yeah. I think it's called the plus store. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, so uh, there are one in really close to my brother's house. One dollar and five and another that is five dollars. Five dollars. I could uh, find a lot of interesting things. <laughs> oh, they had a five dollar store. Yes, there are uh, five dollar oh, store. Please. I think it's the uh, close to Home Depot. It's close to his house. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I have four four blocks from his house. Let's get back on track. Yep. Yes. We done with this uh, this class. Um, so yeah, number 53. So to beat around the bush to, so this is something you would use as in, if you're just getting around the subject that you're trying to talk about, um, you're avoiding, you're avoiding the actual subject you're trying, you're talking about you, um, like if you're getting in trouble and your parents ask you, what did you do last night? And then you start talking and telling them the story, but you're not telling them exactly what happened. They would say, you're just beating it around the bush. Let's hear it. Spill the beans. You need to spill the beans. I want to hear what happened. Stop beating around the bush. So not actually explaining what happened is beating around the bush, going around the actual subject that you're trying to get to. So go ahead, Saul. Oh, really good. So far, so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so to beat around the bush, this is when you avoid say, what do you mean? Because it's uncomf uncomfortable or awkward. So let's say you want to end your romantic relationship with your partner. Your friend could tell you, don't beat around the bush. Be direct and tell that person you want to break up.